Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this swirl twirl background with an After Effects. This is easy, this is fast, you won't need any plugins to do it. So I'm going to break this down into four steps today. First I'm going to create the gradient background and choose the colours. Second I will create the movement. Then I'll show you the two main effects that generate the actual spiral. And last of all I will go through a couple of the other examples that I've created and give you some ideas for some alternative effects you could use within your own projects. Let's jump in. Right, so I am inside of After Effects. I've got my composition settings open. Now, generally, I do not bother telling you composition settings. It's different from project to project, and generally it doesn't matter. Um, you can see here on this project, I've got 1920 by 128. Now, if your final project is going to end up 1920 by 1080, then this is the settings that you want to go with. If you are working in 4K, um, there or any other project setting size then you are just going to have to <laughs> work out that math for you uh, but yes this is what I am working with I'm going to go ahead and press OK and the first thing I'm going to do is create the uh, colored background the colored gradient so I'm going to go ahead and grab this rectangle shape tool and I'm going to drag out a shape over this layer and I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in four and I'm going to grab this four color gradient and drop it onto my shape layer. So this is where you can choose whatever colors you want. I'm going to go with a kind of purple. I'll choose a kind of dark blue. Go with a slightly lighter purple and another kind of light blue. And you can just adjust this as you see fit. Right, so I'm going to select my layer, I'm going to right click and pre-compose, I'm going to name this Twirl Source. Move all attributes into the new composition and press OK. Then I'm going to go to Composition Settings and I'm going to change this to 1080. So if I jump into this comp, we're in the strip and here we've just got this single strip on our 1920 by 1080 comp. Right, so I'm going to select my layer, press R to bring up the rotation. I'm going to change this number to minus 39. And then I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in CC Repertile and drop this onto the layer. So I'm just going to bring these numbers like way up. And then I'm going to change the tiling to brick. And I'm going to blend these borders to about, about 50%, 48%. Right, now I'm going to add some movement here. So I'll just come down to the bottom of my layer, press P for position. And I'm just going to add a keyframe. Um, I'm going to bring this about up to like here. Just try to keep it so that you can't see the black. You can always expand these a little bit. Then I'll just come out to the other end and add another keyframe. And now when I play through, you can see I've got this movement in the diagonal. So I'm going to right click on my layer again, press pre-compose and I'm going to name this one twirl. Move all my attributes into the new composition and press OK. This time I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in CC cylinder. Now this is such a cool effect. You can see if I drop into the rotation and start adjusting the X, we're actually looking inside of it. It's an actual 3D cylinder. I'm just going to keep this at 90. Then I'll drop into position and I'm going to grab this Z and bring it all the way up to about minus, about minus 1200, minus 1230. And then I'm just going to adjust the light slightly. Um, this is just going to be your personal preference as well. So I'm just going to bring this quite up and I'll change the height of it as well. I'm going to bring it all the way down to minus 100. Then I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in turbulent. And I'm going to grab this turbulent displace and drop it onto my layer. Now, obviously, if you don't want this wavy spiral, you can leave this out. I'm not even going to adjust any of this. I'm just going to leave it as is. 
Right, so now I'm going to make it more of a tunnel. Um, so to do this, I'm going to grab my layer and I'm going to make seven copies of this. So you can see seven and then I'm just going to rename everything so that I don't get confused. And then I'm just going to go through and change the radius on all of our cylinders. So I'm going to start on the second layer. I'm going to make the radius 52. Third layer, 25. Fourth layer, 12. Fifth layer, 6. You can see where, <coughs> see where we're going. 4. And finally, I'm just going to leave this at three. So this is the basics of the twirl tunnel. Uh, basically, at this point, you are limited by your own imagination of what effects you can add. Uh, but let me carry on with the blue background that you saw in this thumbnail. So at some point when I was playing around with this project, I realized that it looked something similar to that tunnel in Coraline, if you have seen the movie. And I wanted to kind of replicate the darkness in the foreground uh, that you might remember if you remember that tunnel scene. So to pull this off, I created a new solid. So layer, new, solid. And I'm just going to name this solid. Press OK. And I'm going to go to twirl, uh, the twirl one, the bottom layer and just copy the effects on there and paste them onto the top layer. Then I'm gonna to go to effects and presets, type in scatter and drop that onto this layer. And I'm gonna bring the scatter like all the way up. So I'm gonna bring it all the way up to like a thousand. Then I'm changing my mode to overlay. I'm gonna duplicate this again. Um, Control D to duplicate and I'm not even gonna make any changes here, but I'm gonna do it one more time. Uh, duplicate it again and on this layer I'm going to change the radius to 52 um, in order to bring that darkness a little further down the tunnel and I'm not loving the grain at this end I kind of wanted it to be a bit more shadowy so I'm going to go to effects and presets again and type in Gaussian and um, grab this Gaussian blur put it on and I'm just bringing this up like so slightly so here is another version that I created, um, slightly different colors as you can see. And on this version, you can see I've only got this one solid and instead of having a scatter, I've got this CC radial fast blur, um, creating just a slightly different light effect. And here is one more version um, same colors as the last I believe and these on every single one of these layers we've got a camera lens blur this is the settings and finally I've just got my uh, stars which I just can't resist in any project that I do um, settings here just with a slight fast blur on it and there you have it make sure to click this video right here to see what else you can make within After Effects see you in the next one bye